extra this Sunday, hundreds of children will take to the streets of Tumon to participate in the second annual Koku Kids Fun Run. And this year they're doing it up island style. Joining me now to talk about how the fun run is spreading the holiday spirit is Guam Visitors Bureau Deputy General Manager and former First Lady of Guam, Joanne Camacho. Thanks so much for joining me. Hafaday, thank you for having me here today. How have you been and how do you like it at GBB? Oh, I, I love it. I mean, it's something like right up my alley. Mm -hmm. um, tourism has always been in my heart and um, promoting Guam and um, what Guam is all about um, is truly a pleasure. Well, how many children are you guys expecting? What sort of uh, preparation has gone into uh, this weekend's uh, fun run? Uh, we're expecting several hundred children to come out. Uh, we're uh, banking on the schools. Mm -hmm. We've um, put a pledge out there to all, all the different schools, um, elementary schools, to have the kids come out and uh, join this fun run. Now, I understand there's like a special twist uh, with uh, promo promoting the island's culture, right? That's right. There's an interactive uh, activity that will be ongoing um, in, in the beach park. Uh, where children can um, do chunka, they can do uh, weeding, uh, chat and tomorrow. Wow. There's just a lot of d different events planned. Um, I think also to learn how to sing tomorrow songs, mm -hmm. what have you. All right, that sounds like a lot of fun. I understand there's actually um, a couple of different courses too for, for the kids to choose from. That's correct. Uh, there are different age groups, uh, 5 to 7, 8 to 10, and 11 to 13. Now take us through uh, the course that they're going to be uh, running. In. It's pretty much around the beach park, mm -hmm. um, all around. I, I, I think uh, the first course you do two rounds, and then for the older kids you do three rounds. Mm -hmm. It's a um, 1.2 mile and a 1.8 mile oh. run. Okay. It's really to keep our kids um, healthy right. and how they should stay fit as well. Are there raffle prices? Uh, there's a price, the school with the most participants mm -hmm. will get um, $1,000 of school supplies. Wow, that's good. Uh, show time, go time. Or okay, show time is 8 a.m. and go time is 9 a.m. on Sunday. Okay, March any, 20th. Any final comments you'd like to get out? No, we uh, still time to register. Um, it's at Hornet Sporting Goods, and uh, we'd just like to encourage our children and really the schools to um, encourage our children to participate in this fun run. It's a Coco fun run, and it's the second annual event, and um, it's really something that's geared for our children and hopefully bring have the parents bring their children out to uh, focus on being fit. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, and have a day.